she's here, bitch! <laughs> Did my girl Anna really just say Jordan who? Jordan who? Literally just inject it because we all know that Jordan is going to be left for anybody else and Anna's head is definitely turned. Hey guys, it's Murad and Raleigh. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm bringing you this video from New York, America, and hopefully you guys are having a wonderful evening over in London. But now, before we get into this video, what are you guys doing with your lives? If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my Instagram, Murad and the If you guys wish to, my handle is in the description box below. Let's just get straight into this review because we do have a lot to divulge into. Villa. I'm head to Casa Amor! Oh! Although, to be honest with you, the first half an hour I felt like was a waste of my time. Why am I watching this? All we want to know about is Casa Amor, Casa Amor, Casa Amor. That's what we want to see as individuals, as people. We want to see this whole storyline because these new islanders are literally going to shake things up. We have Lucy who obviously confronts Tommy. Not more so confronts, but you know, confides and says, you know, I have feelings for you. I want to know where this goes. It's too little too late. It's too little too late, Lucy. She is an example of somebody who I feel like has overplayed her character. She's overplayed her worth in this show and she really needs to leave. I feel like she's holding up places from people who should have stayed and have unfortunately left. And I do personally believe she has to go. She has to leave as soon as possible and I don't see it really happening anytime soon unfortunately but she has run her course, her character has overplayed itself and it's done, it's boring you know, Molly Mae is clearly with Tommy, it's too little too late for you without Joe you seem to be a lost puppy but hopefully Casa Amor could change things up for you as well however I doubt it will and perhaps I feel like this could be the point where you leave because I don't really know how this girl is still surviving her and Anton both really have nine lives and they are continuing to thrive in the show and I feel like they shouldn't especially Lucy. I'm very glad that Tommy and Molly May are having this clear communication. He knows how to reassure her, he knows how to calm her down, he knows how to calm those buttons because if any girl's paranoid in that villa, it's Molly May. If any girl that panics for no reason, it's Molly May. So these pictures that may be sent for Casa Amor like last year could really put her into overdrive and that could obviously you know be entertaining to watch to an extent. Um, at the same time, you know, we have to remember that Tommy did leave his girlfriend to come on this show. So one could argue he's playing a game. One could argue he knows how to act and he knows what to say in order to reassure himself to be seen as somebody good because he did leave his girlfriend for two years and he offered to split the money and said it was good for his career. So he's going in there for career orientated reasons more so than for love. So that in itself can definitely ponder questions onto our mind as to what is really actually going on in that particular scenario. We simply don't know. I don't know how my girl Amy is really happy about um, Casa Amor because ain't nobody checking for you. <laughs> ain't nobody checking for you. So I don't know what you're doing. You're happy with Curtis, let it be, and you know, stick to that. We can definitely see that Anna, we've got to get into Anna now because she really is taking this episode by storm. And I don't mean literally, I mean like, you know, just naturally. She obviously likes this OVO person. He definitely seems to be one of the most popular people online. Everybody is talking about him. Everybody is thirsting over him as well. A six foot seven, you know, basketball player from North London who is definitely causing a lot of interest and engagement from the audience as well as the contestants on the show. We also see Mora and Denon who get on very well to the point where these two actually even nearly kiss at the end of the show. We see a few teaser for the Sunday show. We also see that Obio kisses Anna as well. Anna has literally just said, listen, I'm upgrading from that teeth guy. I'm that guy who I had too much with. Like I'm upgrading from that guy. And I'm, I'm very happy that she has because really and truly, when he said you're being buffet, you don't ever pattern your girlfriend or your girlfriend to be in front of an audience. You don't do it because it's embarrassing for you and it's embarrassing for that individual. So you don't really, you know, it's just not, it's just not a good look. It's not a cute look. What are you doing? I'm over it. So I'm kind of happy that she is moving on and she's just like, Jordan, who like who is he? Who is he? Really and truly. That was really nothing. Only he was blooming and blossoming slowly and slowly. But you know, 
people are now saying, oh, you know, we cannot compare this to past love triangles. No, we can't because Anna never said to Jordan that a head would never turn. Anna never lied to Jordan. Anna never set dreams for Jordan. Anna didn't do any of that. So you can't compare com um, situations where they are not comparable. You have to come with the facts, simple as can be. And you have to be unbiased as well, which I feel like is important to an extent. But when there are situations where somebody is clearly in the wrong, you have to obviously say that the person's in the wrong. But I'm kind of happy, I'm, I'm going to be glad to see how this flourishes, but I feel like OVO's had potentially a good sway as well. We'll see what happens, and hopefully Jordan will find somebody out of the new girls. We see, you know, Jordan, Rian is going to be there. We see um, Lavina, I think her name is, who is from Croydon. We have Nabila, who also is from London, so, you know, we got a few more. It's nice to get some London girls in this, because there actually isn't many at all. I think Joe was the only guy from London who left. There weren't, aren't many people from London in that show, and I feel like I'm very glad they injected that into it. However, obviously, a lot of these girls and a lot of these guys from Casa Amor are team furniture. We have to remember that. What I mean by this is, once this is over, at least half of each of that batch will be gone. So that's what happened last year. We don't even remember the people who came in last year. They weren't even that great. I feel like this set of Casa Amor are probably the best set ever. Hi, ladies. Hi. In this entire saga. So hopefully that could obviously add something to depth and volume and you know substance for these particular individuals. And hopefully so. We've seen a billet who seems to be very confident and she out already said basically I don't really want Curtis, which I feel like is quite funny. But um, we'll see if Curtis head sways. Maybe it will, maybe Amy's head will sway. I doubt those two will. I doubt Amber and then Toba. But we see Amber obviously, we see, you know, Michael obviously, you know, biting kind of Nambida's neck, but I assume that's a game. Obviously pictures will be taken and sent to Amber and sent to people and sent them fuming and all this and all that. This will obviously t take place to, you know, irritate people but I'm looking forward to Mora and Denon because I feel like she really needs somebody but she jumps very quickly and that's the fact I find it quite interesting as soon as Tommy's situation was over she went to Tom Tom wasn't over she got Denon luckily she may have had situations where she's had arguments consistently but luckily she's she's in, she's very lucky in this villa because she does get the situations where she has chances whereas people like other individuals haven't and I feel like there are points where I do like her because she brings narratives engagement interest for us the show but she is actually very aggressive and i feel like sometimes when you're shouting at tom that isn't the best way to handle situations and if you believe that that is the only way for you to handle a situation and there's something wrong with you i believe that's very immature because really and truly that highlights a problematic issue in you that doesn't deviate from what tom has done because these are perfect obviously but if you feel that is the best way to handle a situation shout at that person to cause an audience as if you live off that kind of like an extrovert you know amplification and I feel like that in itself is very dangerous and wary and these type of characteristics won't allow somebody to have a proper um, relationship that they flourish in unless they're pitch perfect for Mora. So I don't feel like Denon and Mora will work either to be honest because I do feel like although Mora is great for TV there are some times where she is a bit flawed here, there and you know everywhere. Um, Lucy needs to go. I don't know, Loki she's kind of copying Molly May's kind of look with a friend I don't know, like, it's just a bit weird for me. Um, I'm kind of glad that Molly May addresses the situation with Lucy, but, like, I'm over her now. This is probably why she doesn't have loads of, loads of girlfriends. She, she says she, she doesn't, and, you know, I just like boys, and she was, being, she was crying, and whatever. But now it's like, we really see what you're doing, and editing or not, it's just annoying, and really and truly, you need to just go. Like, I feel like you've overplayed yourself so much. There's no worth for your character anymore. Key word is character. I'm not saying there's no worth for her as an individual, but the character she's displaying for us to enjoy, I feel like it's been oversaturated and we are done with it. However, Casa Moore is coming in. We've got a few individuals who are a part of the boys who I don't know I don't know what they're doing. I've already forgotten their names. We have Dan Rose who already expressed that he's going for Amy. Now, I've, maybe that was like an alleged rumor, but I don't think Amy's head will sway because Amy and Curtis are very strong. I don't think Michael and Amber will sway, but they'll play with us in the audience. Love Island will play with us to make us think that Michael and Amber will sway and Love Island will play with Michael and Amber to think that both of them have swayed or something like that but I feel like these two will testify the odds if Michael comes back in with a girl and Amber is standing there for him that's going to be ridiculous probably the highlight of the damn season but I feel like these two will stay Curtis and Amy will stay I feel like Molly May will stay, but I feel like Tommy's head could potentially be turned. I don't know. Because he's on the show and he knows he's being watched, I also doubt that. But let me know what your thoughts are on Casa Amor. Let me know what your thoughts are on this entire situation. What are your thoughts on the new girls, the new guys, who are your favourites? What do you think of Ovio and Jordan? When she's when she Ovio and Jordan. Ovio and Anna. And even when Anna was like Jordan who? Like, what are your thoughts on this? And do you guys think Lucy's been overplayed as a character? Do follow me on my Instagram, please. Lord, and, <coughs> do you follow 
follow me on my Instagram, please, Murad underscore Murali. And follow me on my YouTube. Click that button and subscribe to my channel. I'd massively appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. And literally, literally, the way I actually had to delay all my plans to make sure that this video comes out in a timely manner the way i'm going to be editing this video whilst i'm on the metro in new york and then i'm literally going to be editing it while i go to while i go to um soho house um, in new york so i'm doing the absolute most to make sure that this video is out in a timely fashion order um, because obviously when you are in new york there's a massive time difference you know it's like five six hours so it's very difficult to get things out especially when you're busy during the afternoon and evening so I had to delay my plans and delay people just so I can get this video out for you guys because obviously you subscribers matter to me more than you think most definitely so I do try to put you guys first when and if I can and hopefully I imagine you guys anyway do appreciate the work and the effort that I do into these kind of reviews but yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys soon